Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's pray. There we go. St. Joseph Prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the power of your most holy spouse, to confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ, O most loving Father. Ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven, assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield, too, each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
mercy. You gave the call of sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Set aside, O Lord, the bond of sentence repent for us by the law of sin, which in the paschal mystery you cancel through the resurrection of Christ your Son. Bless everyone of this parish as we start this nine days no matter to our Lady of Good Counsel, so that all may experience your intercession and your blessing, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, Select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Amen. Lord, let your mercy on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt the just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the heart. With the ten string lyre, chant his praises. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those with hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It had already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat. And they began to be afraid. But Jesus said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. As we begin these nine days, Novena, our Lady of Good Counsel, to whom our parish is dedicated. It is very important for us to prepare for these feasts of our parish. It is very important to prepare through prayers and through repenting of our own hearts. In these nine days, we should tell everyone who we know that Mother Mary is available for us to seek God's grace to our lives. First and foremost, through Praying the main days without failure. Sometimes we are like little children. In the first few days we are so excited and very much into it. And after a few days we kind of drift away. And then we come back again the last day. Then we wonder, how come we don't experience any grace in our lives? And that is why we need to be steadfast and fervent in these nine days in a very special way because our parish is dedicated and named after Our Lady of Good Counsel. There must be a reason and that is why these nine days are very special for us. Yes, when we pray it is not a verbal exercise, but it is a way of connecting ourselves to God. And when we connect ourselves to God, God comes closer. And when He comes closer, He sheds light into our lives, all the dark places of our life, just like the apostles. They embarked on the boat, and it was dark. And the sea was still suddenly. All tribulations, struggles of our daily life can be identified in the stirring of the sea and the darkness. But then Jesus came walking on the water. The beauty, the beauty of today's reading, the apostles looked at him. They were not drowning. They looked at him. Of course, they didn't expect Jesus to walk on the water. So it is dark. Same thing in our lives. When the dark hours are strong, sometimes we got get frightened. Same way. The disciples were, the apostles were frightened. And Jesus said, do not be afraid. 
It is I. Do not be afraid. It is I. I, your Lord. I, your Creator. I, your Source. I, your Destiny. I, your End. Immediately, they wanted to welcome him into the boat. See the beauty of it. When they recognized, the fear went away and they were able to see and they wanted to have Jesus in their lives. Then what happened? Suddenly they are on the shore, safe and sound. Safe and sound. That is what we need to believe in. When we open our hearts to the Lord, He makes us recognize that He is God and Savior. No darkness, no tribulations, no power of anything that is evil cannot stand with Him. And He brings us to the shore. He brings us to peace. He brings us to joy of the resurrection. Yes, my friends, let our ego not hold us back. Let our selfishness not hold us back. Let us enter into this nine days and ask Mother Mary to take us through to the shore of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Knowing that we need not be afraid, we join together in faith and trust to present our needs to our Lord. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Lord continue to bless him and use him for his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For political leaders, May they be blessed with integrity and humility in service to their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who live their lives in fear, may the Lord look graciously upon them and help them hear and believe in the comforting words of our Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may the Lord continue to call forth people in service to the church and one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For all who have died, may they soon rejoice in the loving arms of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For our special intentions. For the special intentions of this Mass, which are for those afflicted with the coronavirus and for the protection of all families, for the protection of the healthcare frontliners and all involved in preventing the spread of the virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Blessings for all members of Our Lady of Good Counsel's Church and School. Blessings and healing for Anselma Pasquale. Blessings, healing, and thanksgiving for Patrick M. Abiko. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Willie Antonio. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let 
us ask for the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Make holy, therefore, these gifts be praised, 
by sending down the spirit of God like the new part so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered the lady into his hands, he took the bread and giving thanks, brought it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat the bread, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Mercy, 
Rene beyond the means free from sin and is saved from all weakness. As we obey the text of the whole and the coming of the Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who is in your fathers, peace I leave, my peace I give. Let not one of sin but all of the faith of your church, and gracious the time of peace and unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign for a while and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. 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 Behold the Lamb of God, behold the who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those all to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to see the gentleman and the Lamb. God, please save the Lord.